what we're doing is we have to manage the amount of money that's in our currency in a way that causes the exchange rate against the dollar to be fairly stable. The way you do that is you measure how much people are buying and selling, and then you can do one of several things. You, you basically what you need to do is you need to increase the money supply. You need to mint new currency proportionate with the growth in sales volume across the whole world. And that's what we did with Second Life. What we're going to do here is we're going to come up with a couple of different strategies for dispersing that new money, basically. And we're looking at how to do that algorithmically on a blockchain. We have to have the blockchain run fast enough that it's actually workable in a virtual world. Bitcoin right now, it takes 10 minutes to confirm a transaction. And Ethereum takes about 15 seconds. Once I buy that hat, when he or the store accepts payment from me, he has to issue a digital certificate for that hat. That digital certificate, which lives on the blockchain, you can't revoke it. It's a lot like an SSL certificate on a website. Once you've said you believe that it's valid, you actually don't get an ability to dynamically edit it because that's what makes the hat um, a permanent piece of property for me. So if we allow Ryan to basically say 10 minutes from now, hey, Philip doesn't own that watch that I'm about to put on, uh, that sucks because I'm going to believe that that is not really a real digital asset, right? Similarly, I should be able to walk out of here owning the watch on the table and resell it to somebody without having to come back to this store. So I can basically transfer goods and things and the representation of who owns what lives entirely on the blockchain. But to do that, we have to have a blockchain that can handle initially probably 20 transactions a second as we get people in here. Um, and then ultimately thousands of transactions a second. So what we hope is that like Second Life, which is currently at about 25 or 30 transactions a second with, with only a million people using it, what we hope is that as virtual worlds come online, they're going to have the same kind of very, very heavy amount of commerce going on in them. And that means you need some sort of a back-end system that is very fast and we think ideally decentralized. You know, you don't want Facebook running the entire object registry for everybody in the world or the identity information. I think I can try to steal this thing and it'll come off my, my <laughs> wrist when I leave. <clears throat> yeah, it's fun, but it'll just disappear. Yeah.